we'll be discussing first the issue of the electoral commission is on admission that it had not done well with the compilation of the register etc but it had to be brought to its notice it says to a is human i mean literally we are we are a human institution dr bosman asari uh, deputy chair for the ec said that we'll bring you that instead but quickly let me just introduce some great people and uh, from the movement for change solomon Ousu is not only a politician he's also a businessman as well good morning to you Mr. Ousu. how are you I'm doing very well. great 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 i always love your communication i have to I haven't interviewed you but i said anytime i'll see you on set i'll tell you oh, i don't know where you were hiding all this while no you were minding our own business, business. Because, <laughs> because when you were in the MPP, you were given a chance to george you see who yes. has returned no, that is enjoying from her uh, for but me, you also fought anyway I, uh, but we wish them all the best in okay. the MPP. okay george you see welcome back yeah, thank you. Great. Uh, let me say thank you. Uh, and, and it's good to be back. I'm grateful to the yeah. leadership of the I, I missed your English and, pronunciations. And, 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 you know. Many people don't know that um, you used to be an education within Fantapim School. Yeah. And now, Director of uh, Communications when it comes to the National Disaster Management Organization, George AEC, is being my friend, I think, over 20 years. That'll be it. Yeah. yeah. A yeah. lot of people kept asking why we were not here. I'm happy we are back. Great. Many of you also communicated on the side. You said yeah. it was a party decision. So yeah. we'll tell you. But everybody's entitled to their views. Um, Fred Agbanyo is the parliamentary candidate for the Guan constituency. For many of you, uh, the, the Guan constituency being the name is always lost in translation these days because of, uh, they say South, South. Yeah. So the Guan constituency is made up of, um, uh, we have Santro Kofi, Akpa, Fulo, Lobi, and Lipe. Okay, so South. The South they refer to is now the Guan constituency. And uh, welcome, Fred Agbanyo, parliamentary you. candidate. Yes. All oh, right. Wow. Who is your opponent in uh, the MPP as well? Asa Isi. Asha Asa Isi. Yes. Okay, there's an engineer. I know Michael is his first name. <laughs> I wish I could yeah. remember the second. But let's uh, <laughs> give you an insert um, from the Electoral Commission. <laughs> Bosman Asari used to be a political scientist with uh, the University of Ghana Political Science Department, appointed deputy chair by the president, Anado Danko Kufado. He's been responding to the concerns raised, especially by the NDC. The preparation of the register is a human endeavor. There are bound to be mistakes. This is not the first time the Commission has recorded mistakes during registration of voters and compilation of the voters' register. We call on the public to reject statements that the register is not fit for the 2024 elections or that it is incurably defective. The register is robust and credible. At the end of the day, the final certified register will reflect corrections of all identified errors. Who gives out a document and make it openly accessible to all if their intention is to add on illegal persons? Corrections towards the 2024 exhibition exercise, the absent voters list and the transferred voters list inadvertently included all transfers that had been done since 2020 when this register was first prepared. This understandably may have caused some anxiety to our stakeholders, as exemplified by the press conference addressed by the NDC in the Ejumaku Enyan, a CM constituency of the central region. The Commission has corrected this anomaly and will share with all the political parties the corrected absent and transferred voters list. Dr. Bosman Asa. And now uh, the concerns are up, so let's start the discussions formally. And Georgia, you see, your party doesn't seem to be complete. Everything is fine, apart from movement for change, and then Cheddar and the rest, and NDC. He's so satisfied. But you take a look at the concerns that have been raised, the discrepancies that, had, uh, that have been recorded so far, people's names being transferred with their, their knowledge. Yeah. All of a sudden, from the polling station, that's uh, the uh, ministry or the ISD office over yeah. uh, just across the street. Then I'll find my name somewhere else. Yeah. I mean, that is unpardonable. Is that not it? It's your experience. It's wrong. It's wrong. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning to my colleagues. Uh, uh, <clears throat> my brother, uh, <laughs> Suleiman <Usu. laughs> I don't understand. A prodigal brother. <laughs> 
<laughs> and my good friend and brother. What is that Father all MPP Manuel. communicators and officers, when they come, they always refer to Movement for Change people as their brothers? They are, ah, but you yourself asked him before. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Good. And, and good morning to yourself and good morning to our viewers. Uh, it's good to be back uh, on the set. I'm grateful to the leadership of both the MPP and Media General. Uh, the Electoral Commission and, and the discrepancies, the errors identified. Roland, that's the essence of, of voter exhibition. The exhibition is meant to uh, give them register to the public so people will go in to identify errors in a discrepancies and co. And, and some of these errors are, uh, I've heard my colleagues on the other side, Dr. Mani Buama and my good friend and classmate, Dr. Tanku, uh, saying, you know, these are criminal conducts and co. Are they not? Uh, if they uh, were not noticed, some no, of them ask. You, you can uh, um, say they are criminal when they are intentional. But, but from the explanations by Dr. Bosman Asari, they were not intentional. Uh, but uh, that notwithstanding, there's been investigations uh, into it, especially the Puzika one, uh, the Tamale and South Sanerugu ones, and then, of course, the Jumaku one also. He's explained to them. And, and I must commend the NDC and, and the Electoral Commission itself because they were thorough, uh, they, they were meticulous, they were detailed and, and went uh, into it to see what they saw. Transfer of voters and co uh, is something that is, is, is captured in the law CI uh, 127 Regulation 22.1 and it tells the processes, I've done transfer before. And, and <clears throat> you must be there. It's, it's you, the individual, uh, who wants to effect that transfer. And they will ask you reasons. In fact, in recent times, when you're doing transfer, they even ask for water bills. Yeah, yeah they do. Okay. And so it tells you, yes, and electricity bills and code to authenticate that indeed you live where the address you are giving them is indeed where you are. And so that tells you how detailed the Electoral Commission itself uh, is in these processes. You think the Electoral Commission is detailed? Yes, when they demand for these things. But the unfortunate incident of these uh, infractions or discrepancies is something that they have admitted, and he said it's a human institution. But some of these errors cannot be easily forgiven or pardoned, okay? And so we, we entreat them to ensure that they do not let this recur. It's not good. Elections are a serious matter, and people take it so serious. If you don't manage it well, emotions will get high, and then things can escalate to a different level. We pray we don't get to that level. Uh, uh, I say I commend the, electoral com uh, the NDC for identifying these, and then I commend the Electoral Commission for not going to sleep. You know, there's this people's perception that there's some antagonistic relationship between the two. And so if the NDC haven't identified the challenges and put in it before the EC, if the EC had thought that, oh, they are just mischief players and not uh, up to any good, maybe they wouldn't have gone to uh, look into it. Fortunately, they took it serious, they went into it, and they saw that indeed what Dr. Mani Buama and the team where the NDC were putting out were germane and genuine errors. And so they have taken steps to uh, rectify those errors. And, and I'm uh, happy with that because we all want a free, fair, open, transparent elections. Okay, the president has assured and guaranteed that as far as he's the president of Ghana, whatever he's going to do to support the Electoral Commission to give this credible election to the Ghanaian people, he's going to do that. And so uh, that is reassuring. And the Electoral Commission, sometimes, to be honest with you, having played major roles in the processes as polling station <coughs> uh, officer, uh, uh, agent, <coughs> and then a coalition center agent for about three times and co. Uh, and sometimes it's difficult to believe that somebody uh, can do something on Why not? What, what makes you disbelieve Well, not that? because I, I, you are there as a representative of your political party. If something is going on, I can tell you a story in the 2016 election in Cape Coast North. Okay, when, when the projections of, of uh, the results were being done on the computer, on the screen and co, we're seeing some certain things that didn't sit down well with me. You know, you see MPP results going for PPP and PPP results going for <coughs> CPP and 
Then they, I will draw the attention, but you see, I got the pink sheets before me. And so when they project, I look at my pink sheet and then I make the comparison of the details. But I kept seeing, no, they don't, they are not compatible. So I asked, what's going on? I see the figure correct here, but it's before another party. I drew the attention and then they said, oh, don't worry, George, everything will be streamlined. But I said, no, I cannot accept that. Okay, you got to rectify them now. What's your point with this? Good. So what it means is that we are there. I have the opportunity to be detailed and to look at it and to raise issues when I'm not satisfied with the processes. Okay, and those issues were attended to. That's, that's what I'm bringing out. So the political parties, individual agents and representatives have the opportunity. Roland, from the printing process up to the counting, up to the collation, at the constituency level, regional level, at the national level, Political parties are duly represented. Unless your rep goes to take tea and biscuits. Unless they do that. Otherwise, they are there to work and they're going to be meticulous in the discharge of their responsibilities. Mr. does it mean that we have a very slackish, inept, ineffective political party agent or a political party? It means that the Electoral Commission of Ghana will go away with murder. No, no. So if there's an error, that's why you're there. You should... Police it. Okay. If somebody is, is look, let me tell you. Let, let me tell you. You may have the impression that somebody is trying to do you in. Maybe that's not the intention. Maybe. Maybe it's deliberate. Maybe. Okay. And so your presence there is going to ensure that the right things are done. That's why we are taking through tutelage to understand the electoral processes. The MPP trains its agents consistently. Okay, I would do that. Anybody we deploy to a police station, a collation center, is a well trained individual and knows what he's there to do. Okay, and so that's my satisfaction. And, and, and last one, Roland, I think the Electoral Commission, uh, this creature called the IPAC, I, I think is very good. I've heard my brother Tanko, Dr. Tanko, saying uh, they are still not satisfied with the stage that the Electoral Commission has got into as far as uh, getting these names and this uh, piling or whatever out. He thinks there should be external auditing of the whole thing. Fine. There is an IPAC. The, the uh, NDC can trigger an IPAC emergency meeting. At IPAC, we have the CSO, we have the uh, religious bodies and experienced individuals. They go there and then look at the details and see so that all parties will be satisfied with the register that has been exhibited. Uh, Dr. Bosman Asari is told that they will re-exhibit uh, the corrected version of the register. Sorry, not open, but will be given to the political parties so that they go through it and there we go. That is very important. A credible register is very important, okay? okay. It's non-negotiable for the 20. So you're saying that if, if, if the party is not alleged, they shouldn't come and blame anybody. That's what you're saying. Oh, it's, you, uh, you, you cannot take that for granted. You cannot yeah. take that for granted. Now, Fred, um, we'll show you a picture of where there's no party representative in the warehouse of the Electoral Commission, yet a BVD machine gets stolen. Indeed, not only one, several. Subsequently, several weeks later, after forcibly <clears throat> admitting that, yes, even then, there were discrepancies in the way they communicated, which machines, whether they were laptops, etc. We find them in the hands of somebody else, that the law will call a miscreant or somebody who is guilty of any action or omission, etc. At the end of the day, the party is not at the warehouse of the Electoral Commission. So how do you perhaps sync with all this idea that once the party slacks and its representatives, then it means that the Electoral Commission bears no responsibility? I, I mean, I think it's unimaginable, right? Well, Roland, thank you very much. Let me say good morning to you. <clears throat> our actually viewers, especially the good people of the Guan constituency. You see, sometimes when you sit back and you hear people from NDC complain about electoral commission, you are likely to come to the conclusion that we are just complaining and talking. If you refuse to pay attention to the issues we are raising and the concerns we are raising, mm. this country has a history. Which is what? We know where we have come from with our governance system up until 1992 when we unanimously agree after that referendum that we were returning to a democracy and that we are going to allow the rule of law to be that, the guiding principle that we are going to govern ourselves with. <clears throat> and embedded in that are institutions and structures 
that we have set up by the constitution that these institutions must work and allow the democracy that all of us are seeking for and looking forward to to thrive so that all of us can benefit if at any point in time any of the institutions that we have created any of the institutions we have set up refuses to do their work well then you are calling for something else which is what? and that is why i have said all the persons who are running around the country and calling for peace when they know that peace does not exist in the vacuum <clears throat> and that there are factors that can lead to peace and that there are factors that can lead to chaos and so if you are you, you, are, you, are, you are very minded and indeed you mean peace of the country what you should be calling for is that this institution that we have set up that we have appointed Ghanaians to work in who discharge their duties with utmost responsibility they will serve Ghana and not to serve any political interest but when you sit back and people who are in these institutions behave and create the impression as though they are the Alpha and Omega they behave as though they know it all long before majority of them came to elect that commission political parties existed actors within the political parties have worked with these institutions so in the area of institutional memory experience expertise we have it all you know when was the current uh, a letter commissioner appointed was appointed. and I, the point i'm making is that sometimes they should come down sometimes they should listen to us we have the experience we have been doing this in all these years and so when we draw their attention to concerns to issues that have the potential of destabilizing the peace and security of this country it is only fair and proper that they pay attention but when the poetry looks like you know what we are adamant the conscience that we have some freedom some autonomy we can do what we want and so you cannot dictate for us. You cannot direct us. What you are doing is that you are sowing a seed that if not well managed, could mm. throw this country into chaos. Elections are not just fanfare. It's not just being able to wake up on, a, on election day and go and file up under the scorching and say, I'm going to vote. Elections determines the water we drink. Elections determine whether we're going to have electricity or not. Elections determine whether the roads are going to be fixed or not. Elections determine if the young people are going to get some job to do or not. And so it is very, very, very critical thing to our survival as human beings as a nation. And that is why no state institution, no individuals who work in these institutions can play with it. In several jurisdictions and several countries across the globe, we know what the elections have done. We know how countries have been brought down because some people simply refuse to do the right thing. And how is in this we are going for an election? The Ghana election. Then we got the hint that some machines, BVDs, and the rest got missing at the electoral commission. These machines are kept in a room. Somebody is supposed to be responsible for that particular place where the machines are. We are told that citizens' cameras are there. Security men are there. This is the when the party electoral commission. You will see the police permanently stationed there. In some time past, you even see the military there. So how could anybody go in there, broke the door, pick these items out without anybody noticing? And we cannot hold anybody responsible. When we raise it first, they say, oh, they are not DVD machines. They are just something we cannot use for anything. Meanwhile, we know and we have heard that some persons have these machines in their homes and they were doing legal registration. Even after the registration were over, they were still using it. And then when you raise their concern, nobody wants to listen to you. You remember when we were doing this voter transfer? The initial position of the letter committee is that a letter committee was sent. The, uh, the one they did it. The, the recent okay. uh, exhibition, that, uh, the transfer that we did. Mm. The initial position of the letter commission was that we don't need agents. The, the exhibition that we don't need agents, they can do it. They said, listen, you are just a few electoral officers at the district level. How are you able to tell whether person A or B really belongs here, is coming from here, and therefore must be allowed to vote? We live in the communities. We work with them. We know everybody. So grant us the space to help you, not to infringe on your work or to interfere with your work. Several people have to make a call before they reason. Now we are here. You said you came out with a roadmap, a timetable, that we are, we are going to do your activity. You give it to us. We have finished the registration. You extended the days by three days. And then the time you were supposed to give the register to the political parties, we started screaming that it was delaying. Because we have more than 37 polling stations across the country. We need to get this register because you're going to give us a soft copy. When we get the register, we now have to send it to the various polling stations. For and, what? And study the register before we you go for the register. We have to sink it. What is really what on the we ground. have. 
Okay. Because when we we're doing the limited registration, our agents were there. We also compiled our own data, right? So we need to be able to sync our data or match our data with whatever you were given to us. When we complain, let us come and say, listen, we have a timetable. We are working within the time frame. Don't worry. Don't disturb us. Eventually, the thing came to us almost a day or two days before the, the exhibition. Because N but NDC is so determined this year. We are, we are very, very meticulous. We are watching every step of the way. And whatever thing that they will do, we will seek and bring it to the fore. All we are calling on Ghanaians, the clergy, the Nananom, all well-meaning Ghanaians, who indeed are clamoring for peace, who are clamoring for peace. The first thing you should be clamoring for is fair elections, free and fair. Create a level playing field for all of us. Don't try to do anything that will suggest that you want to favor a, 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 a political party. We have raised concerns. Earlier, we gave them about 37 questions to answer. As we speak now, they've not answered the questions. Yesterday, Dr. Manibama conducted another press conference. We have raised about another 10 uh, questions. I am praying that, like I see rightly said, let us have an IPAC meeting. Mr. Come Mr. in Mr. there and tell us. Because what happened right now in the northern region, Pusiga area, where mm. some a district officer is engaged mm. in illegal they transfer. They see they cited it. Right? Yeah, they say, I heard they have interdicted the, the, the gentleman. Now, how can we be sure where we see today that it's only in Pusiga that this incident occurred? How can we be sure? What happened in other districts? We don't know. You understand? That's scary. And that, that's scary. And that's why we are saying that we need a forensic also, audit to be conducted into the entire register. Let us be very certain that the register that we are going to register uh, elections with mm. is something that all of us have agreed uh, with that is a true reflection of Ghanaians who have been captured in that particular data. We are not going to sit down. We are not going to sleep. We are not going to relax and allow anybody to do anything untoward. I have said, if you are relying on the police, mm. you are relying on the military, you think that today you are in charge, you, are, you have not told you can command them. The military and the police people, we bought the guns and everything for them. But don't forget, there are families, right. wives and children, mothers and fathers. Mr. There Mr. are civilians like possible? you and I. Yeah. And so let me just land, Rona. You can't stop me with like that. No, you're, 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 you're taking land. all the time, please. No, no, I'm no don't you. do that. You let me last no. a second. The point I'm making is that Ghana belongs to all of us. <laughs> we want this country to continue on the path of democracy. We want this country to continue on the path of elections. Anything that would destabilize that peace, all of us must rise up in unison and speak against it. Don't sit back and say, as for me, it doesn't concern me. It's not my problem. I don't care. Because when we don't do the right thing, and any problem that all of us are not calling for and wishing for mm. should happen, mm. all of us will be victims then. Mm. Mr. Yeah. your party is a young party. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking with this opposition, you don't have enough agents because you used to be, you were an independent movement and now a full, so you don't have agents. And it's only the MPP and NDC that have agents. The NDC is complaining, MPP is not complaining. So at the end of the day, you are left in the middle. I'm thinking that already your votes, even some of your people, they've transferred them all. <laughs> Rola, let me assure you that Mr. Alan Chimante will be your next president. Number two, our movement is not a political party, it's a movement. Mr. Alan Tremante is contesting as an independent candidate. And it's very interesting how the two parties represented here are talking about fairness, when in fact, as we speak, they have the voter I, uh, register, whereas the independent candidates do not have. You don't have the we voters register? Have it. Yet, you see, when it suits them, they speak for themselves. But we don't know you don't have it. You're yes. telling us. But you have been going to our party. You see, all these things are centered around political parties. Yesterday, I listened to Bosman and Sarah is pathetic. The whole electoral system is, is a scam. You think it's been skewed against it's skewed credible against, people? Absolutely. That is no. why the two political parties can be emboldened to think that Ghana is not ready for an independent candidate. It's totally hogwash. We are all going hogwash? To, yeah, hogwash. We are all going to an election. Uh, independent candidates are going to pay as much as the political parties and their candidates. So why would you give voter register to political parties without giving it to uh, uh, independent candidates. Uh, let me also say that um, with regards to what has happened with the register in terms of illegal transfer of uh, uh, voters from one place to the other. Loss of machines. In, in law, they say fraud vitiates everything. Once 38 people have been identified to have been transferred illegally, then it makes the whole register not credible. I mean, I have I consistently hear either Jane Mensah or Bosman Asari assuring. It's not about assuring. 
is about you admitting that something that we all thought was not possible has been made possible. So if 38 people have been transferred illegally, what is the guarantee that it has not happened across the entire country? And so we believe that there has to be a voter audit, a whole month dedicated to auditing the entire There should vote. be a whole month to uh, audit the register. Uh, absolutely, because you see the basis of this democracy. With representative of both independent Independ because movements have, and candidates have, if, and then the political can, parties. Can you imagine that political parties are being treated differently for independent movement or independent candidates? What, what, what makes anybody think that he or she has uh, an advantage over the other? It's very annoying, but the point is that they have gotten away with a lot of things that we will bring them back on, on, on board. This is against the background that you have the president of the land himself saying that he is not prepared to hand over power to anybody apart from somebody that he, he is okay with. You have political actors like Brian Champon saying that we are not going to hand over to you. You have won to me and Napo tell you that they have, they have one million ways of winning. And in fact, blaming what happened in 2008, that, that mistake is never going to happen. So if you have all these things happening, and only yesterday or so, a high court in Tamale is saying that the election in Walla Walla is going to be rerun. Mind you, that election was supervised by, by, by the Electoral Commission. Election Walla Walla. Walla Walla, the NPP primaries. The court says it has to be rerun. An election that was supervised by electoral commission, the determination of the court suggests that there were irregularities. So how would I be comfortable with such a process? So immediately, I have said in the time past that there is so much at stake that if Ghana will listen to me, this is the time to call Afaridan back to be a coach. We should call Dr. Afaridan. He has to come back. As what, an advisor or a consultant? He has to coach her in this election. Because they coach who? Jimensa? He has to coach her. Coach. He has to be a co-chairperson of the Electoral Commission. <coughs> so that... Please bring him water. Eh? It will bring some level of credibility to the elections. As you speak, if you ask me, I don't trust the Electoral Commission. No trust for the Electoral there Commission. Headed by Jim Mensah, uh, but you deputized by Bosman Asari, any, astute political scientist. Uh, the mere fact that you are an astute political scientist does not mean you can get your facts right. Here is someone, anytime he comes to uh, assure the nation, the next woman is apologizing. Who? Bosman Asari or the Electoral Commission. Remember, during the limited registration, the figure that he turned out turned out to be wrong. He had to come and apologize. He said it was not going to happen again. Here again, we are being, uh, uh, once again, apologizing to the people that something that we all thought would not happen has happened. That's illegal transfer of votes. But remember, the Electoral Commission has a checkered history. You know, in those days, before the 1968, it was being managed by the local government ministry. Mm. And it was one of the reasons why the coup makers, those that undertook the Nazi coup, cited for removing Kwame Nkrumah. You understand? And that caused a whole community. You mean they were very opaque in their Opaque activity. in their activity. Can you imagine today, uh, what's the name? What's the name of the minister of local government? Organizing and supervising the election of today. But we've That's moved on. <clears throat> we have moved on. And that is why we brought in an independent institution just to run a free, fair, and honest election. Solomon, also your proposition yes. that we should at least have Dr. Afarijan because yes, he's still he has, alive. He has, to, he has to be brought back. Co-chair. Co-chair. To advise. To, uh, no, he, he has to be involved in this election. You know, you see, we risk as a nation losing a lot. The, 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 the committee, that's not commission for small arms and uh, uh, light weapons. It's telling us that as of 2014, we have about 1.1 million illegal weapons in the hands of people that they can't trace. People are looking for opportunity to strike. And one of the ways or one of the reasons that they can strike will be through elections. So if you have someone who has done it before, that did not result in any conflict. Why would you bring the person to come and aid in this election? Especially where we have people who have taken an entrenched position. The Electoral Commission seems to be taking an entrenched position. They seem to be agreeing with my former party, the New Patriotic Party. And all that. But you see here too, you cannot exonerate the National Democratic Congress. What I will see saying today was the position of Fred Agbanyo. You mean when all of them flip-flop when they're in opposition? So what do they do to the Electoral Commission that when they are in opposition, they complain a lot, but when they are in power, they keep quiet? It means something monumental, something substantial is done to the commission. Oh, yes, Roya, like we say in key. Oh, yes, Roya. Oh, yes, Roya. So you know what you have done. You did when you were in power. So you were a former member of the MPP. Absolutely, now, yes. So what do you also know as a former member of the MPP that seems to be perhaps informing some of the utterances you're making today? What I'm, what I'm saying is that the fact speaks for itself. We have, we have identified an illegal transfer. 
we have a just by election to guide us. Remember the just by election when an MP was bold enough to go and bribe. Uh, uh, was it? Uh, At first, he said it was lunch. Wait, which one is lunch? When was the last time he gave EC, EC officers lunch? He is the then he turned to document. He gave them money. A huge, a fat envelope uh. containing dollars. <laughs> You Come understand? On. That man is in Kwanda so and let me tell you, so stingy in Kwanda so that... It's not, it's not a laughing matter. Well, well, I, mean, I can't I can, I can, I can imagine that and you see he's belittling this issue. No, 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 no. You understand? You have MPs bribing people, Come you have a party that is saying he has one million ways of winning elections, and you think as an independent movement that my candidate is going around uh, 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 winning souls and minds of people to sit down and look unconcerned? Well, we know that we are winning these elections. Do you think that the posture of the Electoral Commission, that now you've called to order, and even suggested that the former chair of the commission, Dr. Farijan, should be brought as co-chair, is informed by also making sure that they orchestrate, where even the movement for change and its likely vote it will get, will all be shrouded in all this, if it's a scheme? Yes, well, the way things are going, we are not too sure whether... The votes that we we'll gonna in 2024 will be the votes that will be ideally uh, should be getting. Yeah, as you, uh, and that is why we want to prevent it. So prevention, prevention is better than cure. And we believe that when the right thing is done, we will win without any hassle. But I knew the Ghanaian is quiet now, not because they believe in these two political parties. After all, given the benefit of doubt with what we are experiencing now, nobody has interest in any of these two political parties. They you. want to as it were, and trust the destiny of this country to the hands of an independent candidate. And that is why for the first time in the history of this country, 19 people have picked for as independent candidates mm. wanting to be president. 19? 19 people. No, and it tells you that the Ghanaian is no more interested in the political parties. All they right. are disappointed. All right. George, you see, yeah. um, uh, Solomon Ousu has cited some key events in the run-up to the current uh, issues that we're dealing with, which perhaps don't bode well for <coughs> marking the Electoral Commission, whether being fair, objective, or perhaps a conspiracy theory of whether scheming to, to have the governing party win the election. And he also says that utterances, for example, like Brani Champong, who would never know. And then even your youth leader, Mustafa, says that they are not going to sacrifice the election on the altar of peace, the winning the, on the altar of peace. So such utterances and all the actions of the Electoral Commission creates the atmosphere for this level of cohesion or a lack of it and disbelief that the Electoral Commission will be fair and objective, <clears throat> despite its assurances, wouldn't you say? But uh, it's not fair to take a campaign strategy or commentaries of political actors. Well, we're told and that it, the election on, an independent on, on, on December 7 itself is just not the no, event. What, what, Processes yes, leading to process, an event. That's a process. So why are you concluding that commentaries no, it's a of question. members... No, it's okay. Members of uh, a political party should be the burden of the Electoral Commission. It's not fair to the Electoral Commission, okay? So the basis upon which Wun to me said or whatever that there are a million ways of winning. Why? If you're a political party and you don't have strategies, very strategies to be able to win election, then you're not worth your salt. Okay? So there should be varied strategies that you deploy within the remit of the law. You mean the utterances okay? and scaring people no, that no. you win and, the election at all costs is part of the strategy? You know, uh, why? People have said do or die, and cool. JM said this election is a do or die. You boy from Okay. <laughs> no no worry. No, 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 Roland, Roland, thank you. You get it. But you see, there are commentaries. Sometimes people win, may not be happy with them. But do you expect the sitting president to say that his party and successor is not going to win the election? He's going to do everything in his capacity within the remit of the law to ensure that his party wins political power, okay? And so if he makes that comment, what is the uh, a crime in that, okay? If people make wild comment statements and call that puts the unity and cohesion of the state in jeopardy, that is a different matter. That is a different matter, and we can look at that, okay, um, with them. Uh, my brother Solomon said something about fraud vitiates whatever. Fact, in 2015, the Supreme Court of the land, Abu Ramadan versus the East, Abu <laughs> Ramadan versus the EC. What happened? It was identified that over 500,000 Ghanaians had used the National Health Insurance Card as their source document for registration. And the Supreme Court wasn't satisfied with that. And asked the EC if it had the means to expunge What's those your point with things. us? No, I'm coming. Mm. 
You get it? If that 500,000, after they, they did the exercise, it was established that indeed people were still on the register post that. The NDC was saying in 2016, when we said we quoted this for this year's whatever thing, they said no, that we should use that register. And indeed, we used it for 2016. And they wanted the same <coughs> register, okay, used for 2020, but for the stand position of J Mensa and the team. And they were able to compile a new register for all of us. There are challenges today. There are processes that we can get those things rectified. If people have problems, that's another matter. The IPAC is there. I disagree with Solomon on their co-chair matter. It's not relevant. Are you telling me when Afarijan was an EC chair, the parties were not angry? Parties did not disagree with Afarijan? We did. And yet he stuck to his gun and the law. And he executed his responsibility to the satisfaction. Mr. George, so when you have That's an electoral commission, let me talk about one when, thing: when, the when, illegal when, transfer, no, the no. danger of the illegal transfer. You get it. What it means is that Fred Agbenyo will go to Central Coffee, thinking his vote is a Central Coffee LA JHS. Uh, he gets there, and somebody had moved it to Jasekai Roman Catholic See, School. A very serious issue. Okay, and and the anger. If you are not able to. You see, so the EC should look carefully at that so that election... So if it hadn't been brought up, you, you, yeah, you wouldn't do an audit to Oh, why? We, we are also doing... We, 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 if we see it, we'll bring it out. They have brought it out, and we've not opposed You haven't anything. seen anything yet? No, but my team hasn't brought any this thing yet. Once we see it, ooh, and we've not see disagreed no with what they have done. <laughs> my, my director of elections hasn't disagreed with what... They, you know, once it is an error, and the EC has admitted it, all of us are at home with it. Let's rectify it, and let's make progress, because we need a Mr. George, where we have and, a certain considerable factor, where the Electoral yes. Commission draws yes. Yes. its so-called, even though it's independent from the Constitution, yes. but draws its funding to be approved yes. by the central government, yes. Yes. Uh, then that's problematic, right? No, even well, the appointment it in it's, itself. It's we have a known MPP chieftain who, who uh, has, has a, a big position in the Electoral Commission, also creates the atmosphere for the lack of cohesion and the mistrust. No, no, you look at the latest Afrobarometer report yes. indicating a large percentage of Ghanaians having mistrust for many institutions. Yeah. And, and, yes. and creditably, there's the Electoral the, Commission is in there. It creates the atmosphere for mistrust. No, there's, there's the, the mistrust has been there from day one. It's been there. We pray that we'll get to a point where we can have that trust and confidence in the electoral process, okay? It's going to be there. Every individual is tagged, okay? So we cannot take that away. But the fact that the individual tasked with the responsibility will adhere to the rules and the tenets of the game, that is the most important thing. That's one. The issue of independent candidates not uh, having access. the... Look, the electoral commission system has not recognized them yet please about? explain let, let me let me explain the political parties are recognized by the electoral commission system from day one once they register and cool now they are now going into the i think from ninth before the independent candidates will begin to you so know what's your point that legally they no, have so no they have to, otherwise otherwise i george kodwe ec here will stand up and go to ec that give me the register because i'm an individual I'm aspiring to be an independent candidate. Once they file in the system and the system recognizes them, they'll get all the documents. Have you filed? Yes. So, no, we, we, our system is recognized. Your candidate filed? No. No, why no it's not our candidate. Our party is recognized by the EC. No, 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 you are not getting me. Why would I the NDC is recognized. 27 political parties. I think we need to have a whole discussion. Yes, yes. How yes. Can so, what, if, if it from is that we have to from perhaps nice, they'll do the advocacy for the change yes. of the law, nice, or they'll get everything. From nice. Nice. I want us to be able to speak to the next issue quickly, so I'll just give you four minutes on this one. So let the process work. I don't know whether it's a good question to ask. If the NDC doesn't prepare well, and the independent candidates and the other parties prepare well. Going by the supposition of George AEC here, it means that you have your, yourself to blame. Should we be going on that tangent? How do we then do we rectify that going forward? Roland, the only assurance I can give you is that the NDC will not accept any election results in this country that is not free and fair. Of course. The National Democratic Congress will not accept any elections outcome in 2024. That is not free and fair. That is a guarantee. 
You can accept it or do not, not to accept it. Whatever we do, when we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. That is why we are calling on all state institutions and all fair-minded Ghanaians to speak out. When they, see, people can choose not to trust in institutions, but the degree of trust is what we are measuring now. It is true that from the word go, people may have a few concerns about letter commission and the way they go about a few things. But leaving the current Afrobarometer report that you are, you are referring to, go and check the degree of distrust. The number of Ghanaians who say that this current electoral commission, they cannot trust the outcome of their results. There are errors that you can accept that here, they are human errors. There are some that are genuinely orchestrated or out of super incompetence. When we sit in a, a, as a country, and then you go and appoint a known MPP communicator as the director of, electoral, uh, of uh, uh, ICT <coughs> at Electoral Commission, and then we raise concerns. You say, I hear no evil, I see no evil. Whether you talk or not, we'll continue to use the man. We wrote to the Council of State. Please hold it, hold it, hold it. We wrote to, we wrote to a Council of State. The reply is telling us that, well, they have gone to the CV of the man, and the man is qualified. Yes, so in this country, all that we are interested in today is your CV. You have the academic qualification. But whether you are dented politically or not, nobody cares. The Council of State old men should sit down and be telling us those things. They should sit down and be telling us, there's a reason why the Constitution created the Council of State. And there's a role that's supposed to play in this country. And so when they are there, and we raise concerns that have the potential of destabilizing the peace and security of this country, and all they can tell us is that they have gone to the CV, their mind is qualified, and so they see no evil, they hear no evil. So be it. When we get to that bridge, nobody should come and call on the NDC to do anything. We are saying that all of you today, speak, call them out, let them do the right thing. Some mistakes are simply unpardonable. You cannot accept them as that they are just normal mistakes. When an election officer can sit in a particular district and transfer votes, with the authorization. Right. So like I see rightly cited, I walked to my police station on election day only to be told that my vote has been transferred from Oti region but to Ashanti region. And so there I cannot vote. And you want me to go and sleep in my bedroom and say, to God be the glory. Is that what you are telling me? Roland, I mean... Uh, How do we rectify this? Uh, the Electoral Commission has to be here properly. You see, there are issues even with data protection. You remember mm. Ex-Sergeant uh, Akwata Porres uh, yes, yes, letter yes. to the National mm. Security? That we are suspecting that the national new patriotic party has the data, because you will be there and you receive a test message from the MPP that uh, I am Baumia vote for me. Why did he get that data? Was going on. Just, just what, as the, Immediately. when the registration was going on, How did all these the issues are happening, oh, and we have that. elders in this country <laughs> who are behaving as though there is nothing. Mr. Mr. Uso is on the floor. If some of these things are not rect rectified today, mind you, election is about win or lose. This election we are going, one will win. One will lose. By then, there's Ghana that will win. But we have to do it well. If it must be done, it must be done well. So that it, it takes away... Are you already seeing the signs that the independent body, being the Electoral Commission, seems to be in a position where it feels that it doesn't want to be corrected, despite you, the stakeholders, seeing that things are wrong? Yeah, they don't want to be corrected. And they keep making the mistakes. You see, one mistake after the other. When you correct them, they will disagree and come and apologize. And that is not good. Accept the challenges, accept the mistakes, yeah. and then let us all move. I don't know why uh, you see this morning is defending I'm the issue. Are you working with the electoral commission? <laughs> no, I'm not defending. So, so just not be fair. I, I, I don't know. Know. Because we, you, you and I agree that we have been in this position before, yes. where we question the integrity of the electoral. Yeah. You did, eh? Ab yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So why today you are behaving otherwise? You have I'm to be no, consistent. No, I'm not defending. You understand? When you have 38 people who have illegally been transferred, and you yourself agree I've that it's a recipe for yeah. disaster, and I'm telling you that for vicious everything, and that we must call for an, an, a thorough audit of the re register, the least you I could agree. do is to agree with me. Hyper. But don't I say, agree. don't go inside the National Health Insurance and say that <laughs> because 500,000 people, the Supreme Court passed, they, they had yesterday. The Supreme Court, they are not saying. The All right. They are not saying. All right. It's we'll move on to the next. Um, you would know Supreme that the Ghana Water Company. Uh, a regional office in the central region and even um even before the central region the western region had raised concern now the ashanti region office has also joined that galamse has apparently been leading to a lot of problems even time spot they even had to shut down a number of their treatment plants turbidity levels had moved in excess of fifty thousand. whilst ideally it should just be up to two thousand now the turbidity level uh just gets to measure how polluted or not the waters are. 
So it looks like you look at ge the generality of um, our water bodies and where we have the mineral deposits across the regions. It looks like in, with impunity, Galamse is ongoing. We'll take a look at that. Let me just say, um, I pose a question on our stream. What do you make of the fairness and efficiency of the EC so far? Schofield Elizabeth says, on a scale of 10, I will give them 1 over 10. Huh. Eunice Akran says, Roland, the EC will do more harm than good because it, it seems that Eros Fund are always in NDC strongholds. Then I have this one from Gadda Glamaki. Tell us who is a threat to our peace, if not and uh, the officers of the EC. John Bosco Akotia says, how do political, uh, politically exposed individuals end up manning positions in the Electoral Commission and take up responsibility for elections. This cannot happen. He puts it in quotes. I'm sure he's trying to uh, mimic the way um, uh, AC speaks. Uh, Evans Ibn Samba says the AC is the opposite of good reason, but their days are numbered. And then Hajia Halima, personally, I think they are doing well and gives them 8 over 10. So on a scale of this, we have at least one 8 over 10. And it looks like Sampi Yali, you know him? Yeah, he seems to agree with you. <laughs> uh, I, well, yeah, I'm sure if you were in your MPP, you wouldn't agree with you. Okay, he says, tell Bosman Sari that the issue itself <laughs> is an error of composition. And he says, I totally agree with Solomon Owusu on these two major points he raised. To cause a forensic audit of the EC and two, to bring Afarijan to uh, coach. Uh, no, Ila, Ila, Ila. I so, so, so let me quickly yeah. say, well, um, just let's spend three minutes on this so that we can end in good time. Yeah. Look, for I think over the last one week, we've been discussing Galamse, Galamse, its effects on water bodies. What do you make? This is sad, really. It's sad and it's, it's, it's a failure of the state. The, the government of the day has failed us. You know, if you read Article 2576, two, every mineral resource is entrusted in the, in the president. Right. And so if things are not going well, it's the president that we have to blame. He's the commander-in-chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. He controls our security. He has appointed Minister, minister for Lands and Natural Resources. He has appointed MMDC, and so on and so forth. But you see, Roland, as far back as 2018, Haji Halima, who is now the uh, Ghana's ambassador to the U.S., uh, then the minister for local government, gave us a lead that they knew all those, she knew all those MMDCs that were responsible or engaged in Ghana. That's true. Why haven't we arrest, uh, arrested them? Do you know some of them in your former party? Well, at least the party, the president himself sacked uh, the, the, the former uh, DC for, is it Bosome from Yadansu? And Yadansu, when he was sacked, also came out and said that, look, I am not the one doing the galamse. The MP for the area, the one bought in, the DC who replaced him, and the constituency chairman. Do you know the constituency chairman, Yao Danso? Yao Danso made a point. Do you know him? Yeah, he, he, he is a DC, I know him. But he was sacked for being involved in galamse. Do you know some other people in the party who are doing that? Who are these? Can no, you give Professor, us examples Professor, so that we can move on? Professor Frimpong, what he named all of them. Like he who? said, Kojo, uh, Kojo uh, what's the name? Uh, Protozoa, Sabole Ese Dubekwe, Nite Kotego, Gabia Sarochi Dakun, Lord Kombe, um, what's the name? Um, uh, Kwaku Bakun. Uh, he named all of them in his report. He named all of them. And the position of Professor Fripo Boati has been vindicated today. How? Ah, is Galante not going on? Is it not a business being run by people in authority? See, one thing with Galante is that it's not done in secrecy. Recently, we had an, an, an aspiring MP for Wasa Memphis East, Ernest Rempong, together, ably supported by the regional minister and some chiefs, saying that the government has ceased deploying military into the forest. So they should continue with their Galamse activity. So what else? What else do you expect? This is a government that claims it has suspended more than $400 million, yet the water is still brownish. The water is brownish? Brownish. We are dying. We are fast-tracking our extension from this land. And we claim to have uh, people in authority. The president said he will put his presidency on the line. What do you make of he it? He never put In fact, the president... What did he do then? According to Professor Frimpong Bwati's report, some few meters from his own house in Chebi, the youth organizer for Ebuaka South was engaging in Galamse activity. Lies, lies. He had to be called by Eric Kenji. Eric Kenji. 
that this was what was happening. They quickly had to move excavators there to just refill it before the president. Hey. And these are all contained in the report. All right. We have people entering our forest. I am coming from Amansia Central. My own village, the Apaprama forest that they have destroyed. Growing up, I saw it. It is totally gone. When you were young, how was it? It like? was so beautiful. Even eight years ago? Eight years ago, it was, it was somehow not like that. But today, it's gone. It's gone? It's gone. And the people are rather going to Obuasi to go and buy foodstuffs mm. at a very expensive price. And we are dealing, dealing with this. So we will die. I mean, it will not take us too long for all if of we us. If we continue. No, we are already there. And I don't see any hands. That's why Alan is professing that when he's given the opportunity, he will amend Article 2576 to make chiefs co-trustees of, of managing our natural resources and also introduce what you call mindset and behavior change where patriotism and enforcement of the law will be will be pushed mm. to safeguard the interest of our right. forests. Uh, we all know the Professor from Pombo Ating leaked report. He's spoken extensively about it, but uh, due to um, our own editorial policy, we want to dissociate or disassociate ourselves from all, uh, all names and positions of Solomon Owusu here mentioned. These were names put forward by Professor Si Bobo Cited all that. Um, yes. Editorially. Yes. As Media General TV3, yes. we disassociate. These are his comments, not ours. Yeah. Uh, quoting from that report. And uh, uh, um, <laughs> please, it's an editorial <laughs> policy. You have to be ethical. And um, um, Mr. Isi. It, it, it looks like the president. Yeah, put you up in there. He me. said he said you do. Yeah, he's going to be Never did it. The, the, the waters are <laughs> creamy. Yeah, Yourself, yeah, you're yeah, very much yeah, close yeah. to the regions yeah, where we yeah, have yeah. the affected yeah. uh, water bodies. Bella Mundi just returned with the latest. I mean, every day, even just yesterday, somebody even sent me um, a, a bottle of water. I think one of these I have to bring on set and said we should do something. But we are all <coughs> in Yeah, for, for the records, the president did put his presidency on the line. And the Ghanaian people appreciated the rates at which he, he was fighting prior to the 2020 election and endorsed really? that. Really? Yes. So he was really. You re think his winning of the 2020 is an endorsement yeah, that he was fighting Galamse well? The process, the way he was going, there were challenges, but in generality, the Ghanaian people, otherwise, the Ghanaian people would have voted him out. Okay? And so that should be put on the table. However, I empathize, I'm, I'm worried, I'm, I'm not happy. Seeing River Pra, Tano, uh, and Cobra, and all turning to the state in which they are today is bad. I've had the privilege to travel just with, when we're going for the lunch, we, you know, Bepo Subreach, the Pra River. Come on, I've gone to Iziama and, and I saw a Cobra. Just, just the last week, um, yes, in, is it Konongo or some place? Yes. Like, they were, yes. they were, Ibrahim, Ibrahim, and, and, and they said they passed and, the, the, the four-wheel drive. Yes. You have yeah, one of those four-wheel drive. You yes, just yes, pass yes, by yes, for yes, food miles. Yes, Nothing is done. And, and the, 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 the brim in, in Chebi, I've, I've, I've drunk from the brim and cool. And, and these days, when you see it... Can you drink from the brim? No, no. If you go to the farm, there's no way you can walk there and fetch it and drink. This failure. It's not, so we also no, say it's failure. You see, it's been challenging. To be honest, let me, let me admit that Gallam Stop 1, Gallam Stop 2, you know, we saw how it went. It's proper for any government, okay, to pause and reflect and look at, are we fighting the right way? The way we are going is that the way to get it because we we have brought in the small scale mining it's something that is legal and they are working <clears throat> and and you see when we banned them completely we saw the state of the water bodies but when we lifted the ban and they are working and the galamse people are also taking advantage and call we have seen the state it doesn't pretend well many to government all of us. appointees have and been Ghana water yes uh, even though two see, four in see, a in see. a room of is government he, appointee says he? he knows and no. he so also says that name, he knows that they know name that and shame solomon we should just admit no, two for rather should that, name and shame no no i say we 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 should name and shame solomon we should just admit it, that a dc was fired because of his linkages to some of these things if you know them take it there the mentioning of gabi by professor frimpom wati was ludicrous. If you read the report, he said Gabi called him in 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 <clears throat> in connection to a certain mining business. So then he concludes. No, he only said mining. they were cited. You know, in no, no, no. I'm telling. Yes, yeah. I'm telling. He didn't you the say basis. that they were no, doing no, galamsey. I'm telling you. The he said basis. they were cited in the report. Yes. So, but look, he's used it as a basis. 
But, okay. But it's a that report from Galamse. No, 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 no. So what it means, the listener, the viewer is going to conclude that Gabi is involved in Galamse, which is not factual. So how do we go you, forward so, from this? I mean, no, I, I think, I think, Roland, forest bodies, we have forestry commission protecting it, okay? Uh, water resources commission is there. I agree with the director general of Ghana Water Company that the military and the police, there should be a special task force that will protect Again? our water bodies exclusively for the protection of our water bodies yeah, and cool. Then, no, no, then Bau Dr. Baumia's vision going forward. What's his vision for on, Kebbing on the mining? He said that the Ghana Geological Survey Authority is going to be empowered to do the but mapping. But he's still the vice president. Yeah, no, no, well, don't worry. <laughs> ah, but Kamala Harris is having his I mean, new, new vision. <laughs> don't you? A vice president is not the president. Okay. You get it. You contribute to the president's so vision. To the president's vision. Thank you. So you are saying so that the president's saying, vision has failed, but no, Dr. Baumia's has, vision will No, 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 no. No, we see Dr. Baumia's vision is gleaned from what we have seen now. You get it. So you reflect and then you find a way. Be? Because right now, the truth is, the challenges is difficult. Look at the water bodies. Nobody can convince me that illegal mining is not going on somewhere. Otherwise, the water bodies will not be where they are. So let's do what we Fred. can to stop these things. Have we given up now, the way it is? But it we looks need, like we've given the, up The, the gold catchers and co are Roland. coming in to help. So let's, let's get that way. If you want fresh oranges that are not contaminated, come to Vota Genoti region. But if you want good we, cassava. We you know, now you are getting iron and those things. Nobody so, so. coming to mind the forget The greenest water now is the Vota Lake. I'm saying that if you want good in cassava, the the, if you want good tomatoes, if you want good pepper, come to Vota Genoti region. We are protecting. My friend, this is a national issue. Oh, Despite no, no, I am just mm. saying that you come there for now. For now, at least, we are protecting our water bodies. We are protecting our vegetation. And I believe we are going to do that. You see, sometimes I sit back and I say, Ghanaians, we don't know the power we have. And so we sit back and allowed a few political elites to determine and detach everything for us. And we are quiet and we are watching. How on earth do you have a consumer that says that our land? is in the hands of the president. Our natural resources are in the hand of one man. So if this man is not responsible enough, I'm, I'm just asking, a, a, if this man is not responsible enough, oh, how sure, yes, how sure can, how, how can we guarantee that indeed he can hold this in trust for all of us in fairness and in a, in a good way? You see, I have said that we need to look at the 1992 constitution again. The role that we have given to the chief tenancy institution, we need to review it. But growing up in a village, when a chief even beat a gong gong for communal labor, and those days, you know, if you don't go yeah. and they summon you to the chief's palace, there are consequences. There are some other The DC it. and the MP, they have four wood drive, they have a lot of money. Yeah, that so, no no gong gong will we, help. No, that's and, uh, that's the course, reality. Money the, is the, now talking. Hold it, hold it. Look at the Supreme Court ruling. That says that being invited to a, house, a chief's palace is not compulsory. You can choose to go or not to go. And so as if the chief's hand has been tied behind him, he has no authority, he has no influence. And that's where we are, where so we are today. The white paper the constitution. Where, where is Aisha Wan? Where is Aisha Wan? Where is Aisha Wan? Convicted and... Uh, where is she serving? Is she repatriated or she's in this country? She's, in the, she's supposed to be here. She's supposed to be here she's and be serving... Yes. Oh, please, here. Yeah. she's not here. She, she, was she was sentenced. She was, sentenced. <laughs> she was supposed to be serving a jail tape in Ghana. Four years. Where is she? Go check the jail. So your point is that we well, are we are the neighbors ourselves. See, we can blame all the boys who are involved in this galamsey and the rest. The kingpins, the cabal, those who are enjoying the leisure, the good money of the galamsey. They live in Accra. They live in the big towns in the cities. They wear suits and Their wear waters coats. are not polluted. Their waters are not polluted. They can afford, afford to import you water know, into their China homes. In hold the it, hold it, hold it. Yes. See, well, what I'm is happening? Yeah, they are on TikTok all the time. Can, can I just learn? <laughs> See, what is happening this girl I'm saying then? The politician is deeply involved. The I'm big men in society I'm are deeply involved. What is the code of an excavator? No. We have been doing mining in this country only God knows when. All these years. But we didn't, yeah, so how do this is now enter into our country? All right. Where did they pass? Thank you very much. Uh, let me just read a couple of comments in the meantime, and we're always grateful when you join us on the stream and you share, and also share on your WhatsApp platforms for, for other groupings to be able to watch us. This one is coming from regular watcher Guy G, uh, Cantonment Accra, says, truth be told, 
The MPP has adopted several measures to curb the proliferation of illegal mining. But these measures have been ineffective because of the incompetence of some of government appointees. Severe corruption, a weak judiciary and the system it has, rampant violence in communities and the complicity of local. I suggest civil society can play an important role in dealing with the adverse effect of Galamse by raising awareness in communities, help curb violence and pressure government. Charlie, the civil society themselves, they need help. Hmm. They don't have the money. Chiamiga Afeka Luchu III of um, the Chito traditional area says, look, Traditional authorities are also interested in how their citizens participate in governance and development in their area. That is purely only their interest, development. Yeah. Where development doesn't come to our areas, we are worried. That is why we need to save our democracy. It is important that we listen to traditional authority. And thank you very much. Our constitution recognizes them. All right. So we need to empower them. Okay. So I have Master Planner Junior Kintampo. Zach, how are you? Good, good morning. During the 2020 campaign, the NDC campaign team members were campaigning at various Galamse sites that they should vote for NDC so that when they win, they will let them continue the Galamse. Then he continues. The Professor from Bombatin's report stated that there are more yeah, NDC yeah, members involved in Galamse, the MPP. Boys who are just how can the government the then the successfully fight this what evil act? Them? He continues. And then, um, okay, I have this one. Okay. This one is coming from um, Sahi Naza Mustafa, who says that we need to be interested in the governance of our country. Just look at the water bodies. I can imagine if I had a relative living in some of those areas. You go to farm, you must How clean would their water be from Ghana water? Wouldn't it be repleted with metals? And uh, there's been a correction, please. It is the Udome traditional area for... Um, um, okay. uh, the yeah, yeah. So you were wondering. Now, um, we have Udume. more comments coming Udume. in. This one is coming from uh, Nathaniel. Nathaniel says, please tell me, say, you see, the slanging philosopher, I they feel the clock he has on his... It's not a clock, it's a wristwatch. <laughs> <laughs> Nathaniel, thank you very much. Thank you very much. This one is coming from Ato Kwamina. It says... Dr. Baumia was asked to, oh, please, let's be decent. Some, some of the comments yesterday, I read the comment, I felt sad. I should not know what is happening in this country. We are not cook, but yes. Roland, the Galamse level is sad. Really Come to nice. Chifo Praso, just behind the DC's yeah. resident. There's Galamse ongoing. Yeah. Oh, who sent this comment? <laughs> so the politician security agencies are deeply involved in Galamse. I think Fred also said everybody is involved. No, you are saying, streets. Fred, you say both MPP no, and DC, right? DC's are the heads of NDC is not in charge so of this country. NDC, also. NDC is not in charge of this country. Yeah. 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 We have entrusted the destiny of this country. Hold it, hold it, hold it. We have entrusted the destiny of this country in one man. Kwame Osebwatin says, has put his job on the line. If you fight it. And can he just renew this mandate? Kwame Osebwatin says, You stole the election. Please, please. Kwame Osebwatin says, Let's be truthful the president said you put his he did. presidency on the line yes. i am a strong mpp person but where i go to my home state and i see our water bodies yes. 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 polluted even though my people are profiting from it the health of my people are my concern yes. we have failed as a state mpp ndc and the even the independent and movements all that we have uh, so we should be careful. Should Dr. Dr. Akofa Segbefia says, it is extremely irritating to see guests on your program talking whilst others are giggling as they speak. Please, let's have some modicum of respect. All right. And we have others as well. Uh, Helga Bodhi says, some errors are fatal. Electoral Commission should know better. This is deliberate, but no. we will resist all their machinations this time. <laughs> La ilaha illallah. And then uh, Richmond Sechi, good morning to you. I uh, wish you all the best for the day as well. Mama, very clear on how to handle this Galamsey issue. He says he will it's release people. George, it's great to have you back. Yeah, Are don't you don't going for a board uh, meeting? The way you dress, I think it syncs with the way you speak. Very English-like. And Fred, thank you very much. Mama Parliamentary Mama candidate. Mama and then also Solomon Ousu. I love the way you talk. Yeah, Solomon, he will come yeah. back home. Come back home. is where, winning. Where, 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 where. is coming home. Step into the, the world of Dewa 539 for your chance to win big with Dewa Direct and Dewa Chop Money. With Dewa Direct, 
All you need to do is to make sure you dial star 446 hash. You pick the range of the numbers 1 to 39. You also get to win big. And it's 20 times, 40 times, or 400 times your stake. And you get to win cash, for example, every evening at 7 p.m. and on Sundays at 6 p.m. Early bets love day watch up morning at 10 a.m. That's when the draw takes place. So you dial as well star 446 hash. Choose the range of the numbers 1 to 39. And you win bigly. <laughs> 20 times, 4 times, 400 times your stake. If you love the phones online, etc., Mr. Digital, very easy. Go online, dewa-nla.com, or you can still use the short code star 439 hash. You can call the number 055-6259-249, just in case you have some customer information or interactions to make. Remember, we have the latest sports updates. We have Community Manifesto, and today we're coming to you live from Gomua Central. We are talking so there's, a, there's an independent candidate from your camp, right? Yeah. Who, who is that? Where? Oh, a plus. Yes, A plus. But there's an independent oh. candidate also from. No, it's A plus. That's for that said, please. No, that one is Gomua West. Gomua West. The current Gomua. member of parliament. All right. Uh, what? Yeah, Emma Morrison. So and then soon, the city MP soon above war. Above We're taking a break. We'll be right back. Revelations are ongoing. We're taking a break. We'll be right back.